Hey guys, what is going on? And uh, welcome to a new sort of video. Um, since I've been seeing a lot of people been kind of doing these videos, uh, I thought, you know, I might as well pitch in and try to make one myself. So, uh, upcoming tomorrow, actually, is I Am Oakland 2017. Uh, this is a ESL-sponsored event. Um, Intel will be basically hosting it for them. Um, and yeah, so it's basically a Counter-Strike tournament. Um, it's one of the bigger ones. Uh, I know I Am Oakland last year was sort of a big event. Um, other events that happen in the U.S. are things like DreamHack. Um, you have DreamHack Austin, which happened last year. You also have um, the tournaments such as ESL1 or Cologne. There was also ESL1 uh, New York which I think already happened, or it might be coming up soon. I'm pretty sure it already happened though, uh, towards the beginning of the summer. So anyways, um, I was just gonna do predictions. Um, now on my second monitor over here um, is basically my sort of like notepad. Uh, at the end of this, I'll show to show you the kind of predictions that I think. And uh, right now, we're just pretty much going to be talking about some stuff. So with that being said, um, let's go ahead and hop into this. So in Group A, we have Astralis, Cloud9, Envious, Nip, SK, and Mongols. Now, um, starting off with Astralis, I honestly have not really seen them play a lot as of recently. Um, Although I know that their record uh, so far is not where it probably should be. Um, I know they haven't been winning matches that they necessarily should be. And again, I haven't really seen them play a whole lot, but I do know that they have been underperforming uh, as such as a lot of teams nowadays. Uh, you know, your big teams. Um, and some of them are even in this tournament. Now, Cloud9, um, just to move on. Um, Cloud9 has been showing a lot of advancements since their new roster change, picking up uh, Rush and Taric, replacing Nothing and Shroud. And basically, with their new roster, um, they've been going through a lot, and they've been trying to advance as a team together. And something that they have been able to achieve is that they won one of the past tournaments, I believe it was about a month ago. Let me see if it is on here. Okay, yeah, so this is it, uh, the I by Fire Masters. They won this, it was literally not that long ago. It was a couple days ago, actually. Um, I know Shroud watched part of the stream on stream. He watched probably the last five minutes where they you know, picked up the trophy and stuff like that. And he was happy for them and stuff like that. Um, but yeah, so with the new roster, um, they've been getting a lot better. And I believe that this team with their new roster can, you know, go a lot farther than they could have in the past because they have new talent. And, you know, they're just mixing really well together. Now moving on to Envious. Um, Envious, I, again, have not really seen play a whole lot. Uh, the roster, I believe, still hasn't changed. It has not. It is still Sixer, RPK, Scream Happy, and XMS. Uh, I have not seen them play a whole lot, like I said. Um, it turns out, you know, in their last ESL Pro League, they actually beat Nip, um, which honestly isn't saying much either. And they actually beat Astralis as well. So that's pretty cool. Um, I do believe that they're one of the French teams to look out for. The other French team, obviously, is G2, which is in Group B, and we will talk about that in a minute. Um, so let's move on to Nip. Now, Nip has been very, very unpromising. Um, their results in the past have been not very uh, rewarding, if you want to call it. Um, they have been beating teams, but they're not teams that they should necessarily be happy when beating. Envious, they beat them, you know, 1915. That went to overtime. They could have easily beaten them in regulation. But it went to overtime, and then they had to pull it out. Um, with the addition of Draken and Rez, uh, I feel like the sort of team chemistry and stuff like that with them has changed a lot since uh, getting rid of 
um, forced. And, you know, with that being said, it's kind of sort of the thing with Cloud9. You don't really know what to expect. Obviously, they have been playing semi-decently, not as good as they could be, um, obviously. But yeah, so we'll be looking out for them, hopefully, and kind of see what they can bring to the tournament in the comparison. So moving on to SK. Now, SK has very, very been underperforming a lot. They have not made it very far in any tournaments they've been playing so far. Um, as you can see right here, they played in a Brazilian tournament and they got 2 0'd against Optic, which is very, very bad. Um, let's just open this up a little bit. They beat NRG, which isn't that much of an accomplishment, to be honest. They lost to Luminosity, they won against Luminosity. Um, they lost against Cloud9 and Mirage, and they lost again on Cobble. And that was just, you know, maybe two weeks ago. So, um, you know, we're hopefully SK, you know, from the past that we've seen, uh, you know, late 2016, early 2017, they are kind of a LAN team. They do, you know, show their true colors uh, during LAN and their true skill during LAN. So uh, they will be also one of the other teams that we will kind of be looking out for. Um, the Mongols, I'm not really going to cover a whole lot. Um, you know, most of the tournaments and stuff that they have played in, they have not made it very far. Uh, I don't even think they've made it out of groups necessarily in most of the tournaments they played in. I know that they have won a few small tournaments. Uh, like this, the Mongolian qualifier. I didn't even watch that because it's. I didn't even know it was a thing. Um, but yeah, so they've pretty much just not been performing at all. Uh, they lost to Renegades. They lost to MVP. They lost to again, which I've never heard of again. But um, yeah, so this is kind of a team that I wouldn't really concern myself with. Uh, as of now, you know, they could show up during the tournament, which would be very surprising. But um. I'm going to say probably the best three teams out of Group A so far are going to be Cloud9, SK, and I want to say Envious. Now, the reason that I throw Envious in is because they have proven time and time again to be very competitive and they understand how to work together in very pressuring situations. Okay. Now, let's take a couple seconds to sort of uh recap and get my breath a little bit so astralis i do believe that they can show up um, i hope that they show up because it's been a while since they've done really really well in a tournament cloud nine i believe that they have the uh they have the opportunity and the skill to pull out this tournament and win it but it will take a lot against these top tier teams so we'll just have to look forward to that as well. For Envious, uh, we've seen them play against G2 multiple occasions. Uh, it's one of the rivals. And we've seen them play against Cloud9. They have beaten Cloud9 before. They have lost to Cloud9. Envious is not really a team that is very consistent. They are kind of all over the place. They'll win one, lose one, win a couple, lose a couple. Uh, I feel like they are one of the teams that are kind of struggling with adapting, um, especially now due to you know all these big teams getting new rosters and things like that. So they'll be kind of expecting um, stuff like that. For example, if Optic were to play against them, they will need to understand how to adjust to their play style, and same with FaZe. Okay, now, Nip. Um, I do not believe that they will go very far with the sort of um, recent performance that they have put out. Uh, it's just not very promising. With Draken, he's underperforming. Um, Exist has been underperforming, kind of, and it's just not very promising. SK, uh, they are a land team. 
as you would call it, I guess. They do like to perform on LAN. They're not really an online team. Uh, so basically all we can really do is kind of hope for them to show up, and that's kind of it. And then Mongols, don't really expect much from them. They're kind of a lower tier team. Oh, that's a lot. Okay, so on to group B. We have FaZe, G2, Gambit, Liquid, Optic, and Renegades. Now, this is a very, very stacked group. Phase, who has a lot of all-star players. They have C, Kerrigan, Olaf Meister, Guardian, Nico, and Rain. Now, we all know that Olaf Meister came from Fnatic. He was one of their best players. He was considered, you know, the best rifler or the best player in general in 2016, I believe. Guardian was uh, considered one of the best offers in 2015 which is a big big plus you have nico which is considered you know one of the best players now you have rain which is he has very good aim uh kerrigan he is a very good in-game leader and he used to be on um north i believe it might not have been north i don't really remember off the top of my head but he is a very good in-game leader, and then he got benched from his team, so then he came to phase, and they've been doing really well ever since. Okay. Now, going on to G2. Oh, uh, phase, I do believe that they can make it very far in this tournament. Um, the only thing they have to do is make sure that they're ready to play against, uh, say, a team like SK, or Envious, or Cloud9. Okay. So, G2, um, we've all seen them play, we all know how they like to play, they play very smart, and they're very flush, and uh, very smooth with how they operate. Um, Kenny S, you know, is that dynamic opera, he can play basically anywhere on a map, he'll just tell you where he wants to go, and he'll be there, he'll be able to get a kill, and then he'll rotate off somewhere else, and you have no idea where he's at. So, uh, G2 is kind of an on and off team, um, just like... Uh, just like envious um they have good days they have bad days but when it is a good day they do extremely well when it is a bad day they sometimes can do well depending on their morale or they do really bad they are a team that i really want to win <laughs> i am biased towards g2 they are one of my favorite teams because they have the veterans and you know they're basically the all-star French roster now gambit um since zeus left the team i haven't really been following them a whole lot uh i do know that they have been performing fairly well um probably not as good as they could have been uh yeah, see their recent results is they won a game against space soldiers they lost to vp heroic and AGO. So, with that being said, uh, Gambit, I don't really expect too much from them. However, if they do turn up in this tournament, it will be very, very... It'll make me kind of appreciate their team and sort of look forward to what they have to bring in the future. Liquid, one of the other North American teams. Um, I do have a lot of hopes for this team. Um, I'm not sure if this is something that happened recently, but I haven't seen Steel on the roster. But anyways, um, you have the team of Twist, Allege, JDM, Nitro, and... Oh no, I forgot their IGL's name. This guy. What's his name? I forget. I don't know, it can't, can't come to the top of my head. But anyways, they have been doing very well in the NA scene. As you can see, they beat Optic and Renegades, which means that they have the potential. They unfortunately lost to Cloud9. They won, lost 2-1. Um, again, Cloud9 is, you know, coming up. They have a lot more skill, so they're going to be, you know, favored necessarily in that match. So we'll just have to see how they come out in this game or in this tournament as well. Now moving on to Optic. Now, 
Um, with the current or sort of roster swaps that have been happening with uh, Optic and certain teams, uh, they now have Freiburg, Alu, HS, and Magisk. The only Optic player that was on the roster previously is Mixwell. Now, this is a very good team. However, the star player on the team currently, I think, is Freiburg, uh, following their recent matches, such as Misfits. They almost lost this match, to be completely honest, and Misfits kind of choked, and then Freiburg sort of carried them out of it. During this SK match, it was kind of the same situation. Um, so yeah, they are kind of one of the teams that I would look up for. And last but not least, Renegades. Um, Renegades recently has been doing pretty well, I would say. Not as well as the other teams in their group, but they have been performing pretty well. They beat Optic 2-0 in IBA Power Masters, eliminating them from the tournament, which I thought was very cool. They also beat Cloud9 in the same tournament, I believe knocking them to the loser bracket. And then they ended up playing against Misfits. And then they beat Misfits, and then they went to the finals. Okay. So, with that being said, my three teams from Group B, I would have to say, is G2, Optic, and FaZe. Now, my reasoning behind this is G2, obviously, they can show up. They might not show up. But I am biased against them, so that kind of leeways a bit. But... If they show up, they have the potential to take the tournament. If they don't show up, then it'll pretty much just be a washout and they won't really ever show up during the tournament. FaZe have an all-star lineup. They have been playing very well, and I believe that if the situation presents itself, they will take full advantage of it and be able to take the win. Optic. With them not being able to practice a whole lot since the roster change, um, I do believe that it will be very, very difficult for them to bring out this uh, sort of, I want to say, win. But it's not going to be as expected as, say, you know, FaZe or SK taking the tournament. Just in the sheer reason of they haven't really practiced a whole lot and they're not really meshed well together yet due to them all being pretty much from different backgrounds. Um, and it's kind of something else that we will have to look out for. I will see probably, I would say probably the guaranteed teams to go out during groups, at least for two teams, would be Gambit and Mongols. I do not believe that they will make it out of groups. Now, with the tournament, I do believe that the four teams that will make it to semifinals are Cloud9, SK, FaZe, and Optic. With that being said, I do believe that if it gets that far, the finals match would be SK and FaZe. And then you would have that sort of rivalry going on again. It might go to the third map. The first two could be overtime. But I do believe that most likely in the end, FaZe will end up winning it. Now, the reasoning behind this is that FaZe has a lot of potential. If they haven't been showing it recently, it's due to their new roster. And they have had the same roster for about... I want to say probably about three to four months now. Um, they have been showing, you know, great results. Um, they have had a couple slip ups, but overall, I do believe that they will be able to take this tournament. I would like to see G two to take it, but I honestly do not believe that that will happen. Uh, just due to the teams that are in the other group, it will be very hard for any of these teams to win the tournament. But I do believe that FaZe overall will take the tournament. So, with that being said, I hope that I did alright in this video. I tried to keep it kind of short and try to not talk as much as usual, even though I don't really talk that much. Um, but yeah, uh, I hope you guys enjoyed these sort of predictions for I Am Oakland 2017.
This video will be posted the day before the tournament. Um, if you guys enjoyed the video, don't forget to hit that like button. If you want to come back for more videos in the future, don't forget to hit that subscribe button. And I will try to be posting more regularly. Also, leave a comment down below and tell me what you guys think. Um, if you don't like the video for some weird reason, go ahead and leave me a dislike. And I will, you know, take that as feedback and move forward with what I'm doing. Um, in the comments section, just, you know, tell me how I did. Uh, what you would like to see with these kind of videos. If you would rather me do it with a friend or something like that. I would be happy to uh, just let me know so yeah with that being said i thank you guys so much for watching and i'll catch you guys in the next video